Ooh. I don't want to lube. What are some good pre-lube switches? The ones I'm actually using today are pre-lubed. And I was actually very particular about what I was gonna put in this build because this is, this is a gift this was given to me, but um, I've also really liked this board. So I really was very particular. And these are, these are actually pre-lubed. The only concern about these is apparently the housing tolerance on this batch, not the ones that people will buy, are a slight bit too big. But I really like the way these feel. Uh, these are pre-lubed. And then also gonna lube my banana milk switches. I also got some of those in too. Also, the other ones I would personally pick if I were to get some pre-lube switches, the Zeps, I think Zepsity has some still, the uh, Wisteria switches. Uh, also, any of the Wuche switches usually work as well. This is so cute. I'm not really a pin guy. I don't really know where to put pins. I Maybe, maybe my camera backpack, if I still even decide to use that once in a blue moon, but... Ooh, this is such a pretty board. By the way, we're building the flash. So it's like a piece of uh, eyelash. They're building the flash. I really love this box that it came in, by the way. I think this is so pretty. All right, let's take a look at this plate. This is nice. This is alu. This is a nice color alu. Ooh, this is a nice PCB. This, this is actually kind of nice. I'm always a sucker for when they put the stab layouts on the PCB as well. I think this is super pretty. Oh, that's why I like this PCB. It's a Heine PCB. <laughs> that's why I like it. Most likely the PCB is meant to support a lot of things and they might've released plate files, but you see that so often where it's a fixed plate or up the plates limit it. Ooh. Oh gosh. This is a pretty color. I kind of want to go grab the feet and put this on this, but ooh. This is indeed a pretty color. Let me actually put the feet on before I do anything. No pea yellow? Yeah, not a pea yellow. The sternum is the center of your chest. Is it? It's that. That's what I'm thinking, right? It was a domino effect from cracking a rib. Yes, it is one big weight on the back here. Actually really pretty. Well, I want to see the side profile. Oh, I, I like that actually. That's cool. It's very different. I like this a lot. Ooh, this is a nice little project today. Okay, guys. I also really like this internal weight here. I know why this was done. I think it's such a fun thing to do. It's to get kind of, you know, raise, or uh, create as little space between the PCB and the bottom of the uh, keyboard as possible. Very pretty though. Adam, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you, dude. Got the PLA 75 yesterday, I love it. Those switches that are on it, Top Sniper, are actually really nice. So if you end up like, I know the PLA is nothing like too fancy, but it does feel like a good keyboard. And if you end up wanting to reuse those switches, you can. Very nice. I like it. This is pretty, this is pretty awesome. Colorful keycaps and monochrome case and, or a colorful case and monochrome keycaps. I would personally pick colorful case and monochrome keycaps. That way there, you can have a set of keycaps that works on everything. Opposed to having one colorful set of keycaps that you may get sick of. If that makes sense. <laughs> what switches are these? These are called runner switches. So these are pre-lubed, but they're done really well. All right, so let's actually open this guy here up. Oh, I do, again, I think the side profile of this is quite lovely. This is super cool looking. Big old brass bottom as well. Nice, this is cool actually. Can't make a tomelet without breaking a few Greggs. <laughs> An omelet sounds pretty good right now. Y'all are gonna make me act up for an omelet soon. I've always been a sucker for breakfast foods at night. I'm a big, big sucker for that. Breakfast foods rock. Have you tried rice, uh, eggs, and soy sauce? Um, I feel like I might have tried something similar to that. What? Uh, why did brass get so popular? 
You know what? I don't really know. I think it was still in the early stages of things. Brass just seems like it's a good material for this kind of stuff. It seems like it would be the best option because more expensive equals best, you know? My favorite tactile is still Holy Pandas, man. It is really hard for me to get off the Holy Panda train when it comes to tactile switches. I don't mind the lighter tactiles now, like blueberry chiffons and stuff like that. But I think I still much prefer using the Holy Panda. Zykos' Endgame, it's also very expensive. Alex Odos, what's going on, bro? Okay, let me go see about uh, some keycaps. So, we could do this set which is from PBT fans. No, no grid, dude, that's too much yellow. Serica could also be actually really nice. Actually, if you want to do something with a little bit of a yellow accent, perhaps Twist. Oh, Twist is in a container. Twist might be nice. Twist is good. I think Twist also might be very pretty. Hey, I heard you're the guy to talk to about keyboards. Who's, who's saying this? I might be one of the guys. Wait, this is actually really nice with this set. Good call, guys, good call. No accent key? Do we not want accent? No yellow accents? Okay, hold well, on, let me get the key for this. Damn, that's actually pretty hard to... I'll leave them on the desk for now. The board is the accent, but I feel like this kind of feet. Ooh, it's actually quite a deep sounding board. I like the way these feel. These are actually really nice switches. Well, let me look up the switch stats again to tell you. The runners are tactile, nylon top, palm long pole, uh, nylon bottom, 70 gram. Maybe that's why I like it. It's a dual stage spring. You know, I kind of went into this being like, oh, this is just gonna be another tactile, but I actually don't mind this. I know the melodies are branded as the ultra light tactile and for good reason, they almost don't feel like a tactile, but I kind of feel like the runners, they're saying it's akin to that found in the Holy Pandas. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of like vibing with too. That's why I kind of felt like, oh, this is actually kind of nice. It's not as aggressive as a Holy Panda though. I think using the word akin is probably the best choice. All right, no accents it is. Hmm. I like it, I like it both. This is nice. Dude, this is kind of nice looking. Ooh, desk looking clean. Put me on your desk, what cable is that? This is one of the new um, Lindy cables from Space Cables. These are the runner switches, which I would say they're a light tactile, maybe medium tactile. Um, not quite as, they say akin to Holy Pandas and U4Ts, but I think they're a step below in terms of tactility, not in terms of quality. These come pre-lubed and I think they're very well done. Perhaps the pre-lubed variants, um, I didn't notice any oils on the legs, but perhaps some of the pre-lubed variants is also causing that uh, little bit of difference there, but this is an aluminum plate. This is the Keyport Flash, which is a very, very pretty keyboard. It has a great side profile to it. Really like that. But let's see what this sounds like with these switches in it. Cause I actually, again, I'm, Kind of sparked my interest in how nice these feel. Oh. Very interesting. The space bar is really nice. I almost feel like it's a combo of obviously the keyboard and that's a, okay, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Might be one of my favorite space bars that I've done. No, nah, there's no reverb in this. That is a clean space bar. Try ABS. All right, let's see what this ABS says here.
You know, I think this is also really good too, but I kind of like the PBT one a bit more. Both are really good and usually it's one or the other. Wow, pretty cool. Also, I don't know if you guys see the uh, design in the plate there. Wow, this is the first time I've actually liked the PBT spacebar more than the ABS version. See, with no desk map, sometimes keyboards don't. You know, I really like this, guys. I'm really happy with this board. I'm glad we did tactile. I'm glad. I'm glad this turned out the way it did. I think this was a really fun project. Does it come? Uh, does it come with the fire alarm? No, that was just for me. The office of a high pitched something in them on my spacebar buried in the rest of the sound. Is that just me? There's there's a bit more of a. There's definitely a little bit more of like a high pitch -ness. Yes and no. I don't, yeah, I don't hate it either. It's a little bit contrasted to the way the space bar sounds. It's very clean though. Much sharper with the ABS. I do think PBT is the go-to here. Has a bit more of that bass to it. Interesting though. I really like this. This is actually pretty cool. PBT definitely smoothens it out, yeah. I am very happy with tonight's build, guys. Very, very, very happy. Look at the way this looks. Look at its side profile. Look how sexy this looks. Look at that. Look how sexy that's that's such a cool side profile. So many like curves to this board too. It's awesome. Well, you're not curves, but like just angles. I like it a lot. Space bar is nutty, bro. Take care, everybody. I love you and goodbye. Ooh.